guys and welcome back to my channel. So, what is this? This is um, this is gonna be a what's in my bag. Um, so right now in Miami, um, we're having the castings for all of the swim shows. So today's video is going to be a what's in my bag casting edition. Um, so before, a couple of months ago, I posted a, a normal what's in my bag, um, just normal handbag essentials. And um, today I'm just gonna be showing you what I take with me to castings. So most of the things that I covered in, in my last handbag video, I may not cover now, but I will link that video down below if you'd like to see it. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Catherine and my channel is KW Shops. Um, I do videos all about handbags and luxury and fashion and shopping and today it's going to be about modeling because I do that as well. Uh, I, I toyed with the idea of vlogging um, swim week castings, but I feel like it's not right for my channel. Um, you know, I'm wearing one and I'm not sure how the rest of you guys feel about, you know, these swim styles, but they, they are very revealing and I don't, just don't know that that's right for my channel. Really, it's just too many butt cheeks and um, I just don't want to put that out there. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just going to get started. Um, this is the bag I am currently carrying. This is the Givenchy Antigona Shopper Tote in Coated Canvas and this is the Magnolia and Moth print. If you have been with my channel for a while, you know how much I love this bag. This is easily my favorite bag. This is probably the best buy, I think, cost per wear I have ever, I have done to up, up until this point. I love this bag and I'm really happy because last year I didn't have this bag. I was using a few of my other ones and they just really were not fitting the bill. And that's why I'm just so glad that I finally have this. So. Now that I'm done ranting and raving about it, you know how much I love it, <laughs> I'm gonna get started. These are things in this bag that I bring with me to castings, specifically. Sort of running, I'm sort of on my way to a casting right now. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna try and do this really quickly. So, the first thing I have is my iPad. I keep my book or my portfolio, my pictures and everything on, on my iPad here. Um, a lot of people do still carry physical books, but I just find it so much easier to have it here and it's just much less to carry. I used to carry, um, I used to carry a physical portfolio and they just can get really heavy and really big and really bulky. So I'm glad I finally, uh, bit the bullet and bought one of these. And it does so much. I have books on here. I have, I have all kinds of stuff. So this is the first thing that first thing that is absolutely necessary, a book or some type of thing with your pictures on it. Next are a pair of heels. These are from, from Charlotte Russe. I bought these a few months ago. Um, I know my channel is all about, you know, designer and luxury and things like that, but honestly, for castings, I don't like to bring and wear so many, you know, expensive shoes. I don't, I'm not sure how, how, how everyone else feels about this, but I want the people casting to be looking at me and not, you know, the red sole on my shoes. I just don't think that uh, wearing expensive designer shoes really helps you in any way and if just with any type of casting or even or job interview, uh, they're not looking at your fashion sense, they're looking at your, you know, <laughs> they're looking at the uh, things that are, will qualify you for the job. So these are just a little cheapy pair of Charlotte Russe sandals that I really, really love these actually. Um, I bought these a few months ago and I think I bought them at a secondhand store for like $8 and they have really have gotten me through the summer. I'm very impressed with these. And another thing I want to mention is that since I am, uh, this is what I'm wearing today. These are just a pair of denim shorts and a, you know, silk, silky satiny top from H&M. I'm doing our swim castings. I really, all that matters is the, sw is the swimsuit that I have underneath. Um, so for these type of things, I like to wear things that are really easy to get in and out of. Um, and that's really only specific to Miami Swim Week. So. Next, I have some makeup to, these are just the basics of my makeup collection. Um, this is a, these pouches, I have like seven of these in different sizes, are from a company called Travelon and I really, really love them. They're just plastic zip pouches, clear so I can see exactly what's inside. And um, this is just so I can touch up my makeup throughout the day. Um, there are a few other bigger things that I have inside of my mini, uh, my mini pochette. Uh, my matching uh, pochette that came with this bag. Um, I'm not going to go throughout in here, but I'm just going to show you I have my makeup brushes, some hair ties, and some, like, you know, my Laura Mercier powder. Um, that just doesn't fit inside of there, so I keep it in here instead. Next, I have, this is my Louis Vuitton agenda. I do keep this with me every day, no matter what, but, um, 
specifically as related to this casting as related to you know the castings um normally i get my normally i get my castings um all together in one email so it's really easy and they're in chronological order that they, they were all sent out separately so i just made a list of everywhere that i have to be and when um that i put with my schedule for the day um i have I'm not going to go into this much more than that, but um, I have a agenda tour video posted as well, and I'm just using the same things that I've been using since the beginning of the year. Um, another also a very important thing is that in this, my back uh, zip pocket pouch, I have an external battery. Next, I have my mini pochette, and I this is another thing that I keep with me all the time. I guess maybe I should be doing an updated what's in my bag because I've gotten some new stuff. But um, this I just keep my headphones and lip balm and a few other things like some wet wipes and hand sanitizer and everything like that. But I just keep that in here and I also have it attached to my bag. And as you all know, my beloved uh, Tassel charger keychain also comes with me everywhere, but it is especially important here because with castings, you are sitting around waiting to, for your name to be called for hours and hours and hours and hours. So if I can, I probably won't be able to, but if I can get like some type of vloggy style to show you guys what it's like, I'll try to, but no promises, honestly. <laughs> um, I brought a book to read because like I said, there's a lot of, there's a lot of waiting involved. This book is, um, it's called Deluxe, How Luxury Lost Its Lu Luster by Dana Thomas. And I really, really love this book. This is the second time I've been reading it. I actually just started it yet. I just restarted it yesterday. It's all about the evolution of luxury fashion throughout the years. It picks a brand and uh, it picks a brand that's specific to, you know, a certain aspect of fashion like handbags or um, shoes or, you know, clothing. It just goes into the history of that brand and, you know, just different ways and different ways in how it's evolved. Um, this book is about 10 years old, so I really wish that, I really do hope that there is like an update to this because, you know, fashion has changed a lot in the last 10 years and I would love to see her thoughts, um, opinions on the pre-love market and how that has really taken off in, you know, the last 10 or so years. But yes, I love this book. If you guys want a book to read or actually yeah this helped me when i first got my job um at the consignment boutique um to really understand more about luxury so i really really recommend this book i will leave a link to it down below 100 percent. this is one of my favorite books right now here so here i have my um comp cards um these are they're, they're called composite cards but they have a picture of me um in a bikini, there's the you know face picture, and then there's a full body picture. I'm not going to show you them right now, but um, yeah, this is this has my picture, my name, all my information, and my measurements, um, where to how to contact my bookers and everything. With castings like this, these are really cattle calls. Um, so there's like probably 300 people that they see. They really don't have time to look at books and look at books and look at por portfolios, but it is definitely still a good thing to bring them. Most important is to have these. Last thing I have is an orange that, cause yeah, I get hungry and thirsty eventually. And yesterday I spent like, you know, $6 on a lemonade because I was thirsty. And today I'm bringing my orange. As always, trusty umbrella, gotta keep the hair straight. Literally. <laughs> uh, the last things are just, you know, regular handbag stuff. My Ray-Ban sunglass case. Um, my little small wallet and my new key holder. Oh, I'm really loving this thing. If you guys saw my uh, Chanel reveal, I love this thing so much. Completely off topic from castings, but just check check out how beautiful this is. Oh. Once again, this has nothing to do with castings. This is uh, this has to do with the handbag. Um, this. I bought a um, purse organizer from Original Club that is, you know, just one of those felt purse organizers and it's really dirty in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. I, you could not get me to go back to carrying this bag or any tote bag like this without, you know, an organizer or some way of, you know, separating everything with compartments. So this Really, this is essential for my life, but yes, it is very good for castings as well. Because, you know, when they call your name, you have like, you know, seconds to be ready. <laughs> all in all, I think the most important things to have are, for me in this market, a swimsuit, obviously, because it's, you know, bikini castings. Most important things, obviously, iPad, in case they do want to look at your book, which normally they don't. Um, 
pom cards, um, pair of heels, and um, book to read, and you know, maybe some face powders. I have my face powder and stuff in here. So yeah, these things are all very, very important. So, um, this was just a quick little what's in my bag casting edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me. So uh, I'm gonna rush off to my casting now and uh, I will see, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.